How did you get started with adoration? I got started with adoration after attending a CEC weekend here in Omaha, Christians Encounter Christ, and it, I just was felt called to be spending some more time in prayer with our Lord. So what is it like when you're in adoration? There is an amazing sense of peace. It is um, about the only place I can go where I know I won't be interrupted. And um, with the busyness of life, it's just so incredibly peaceful to just sit there and just be with our Lord and know that everything is okay. What have been the results or things that you've noticed as a result of going to adoration? The things I've noticed most after going to adoration is the graces I receive from it. I, it's something that I sometimes struggle with to get there, but once I'm there, it's something that I never, ever, ever will regret having gone. All right, what do you do when you're at adoration? When I'm at adoration, I do a, a lot of different things, and I've done lots of different things depending on which stage of life I'm in. But my most favorite thing to do at adoration is to basically just pour my heart out to Jesus as if he were my best friend here on earth and tell him all the things that bother me, all of my feelings, all of my thoughts, all of my desires for my family, for my children, everything that's going on. I just pour my heart out and know that he's going to take care of it. He's the one who, he's the one who can take care of it. I can't take care of it. That's probably my favorite thing to do. Other things I've done and do sometimes, sometimes I'll say the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. I might say the Rosary. I always, always bring a couple different books there because I never know which one I'm going to be called to look at it. And, and the Bible, too, is, is important. And my other favorite thing to do is take my children with me, too. Um, it Sometimes it's not maybe as much... I, I don't, it, it's different for me when I take my children because um, they're there and maybe I'm distracted watching them or, or whatever it is. But I think it's important to take your kids sometimes so that they, so it can be a part of their way of life, so that they'll grow up knowing that they've, they've experienced it and so it won't be a, like a foreign thing to them when they're adults. They'll know how to, how to go there and what to do. Um, so they usually bring a, we have lots of different saint books, so they'll usually just bring different saint books or the Bible, and they'll just open it up and read it. And it's a blessing to watch them do that too. Um, but sometimes you do, you need to go just yourself too and just pour out those, all the things that bother you and just tell Jesus about them.